The Flowmaster American Thunder stainless steel catback exhaust is available for any 2011 to 2014 5-liter F-150 owner who's looking to pick up the good old classic American muscle sound for their truck. The single side exit system will definitely put some aggression back into your Coyote and turn up the volume, giving it a deeper growl. The installation is pretty straightforward, however, it might require you to make a single cut to the included extension pipe here, depending on your cap size and bed length. Either way, I'm still giving this one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter, which I'll talk more about later on. First things first, let's tackle what's going on on everybody's mind, and that's of course the sound. The American Thunder system is one of the most classic sounds you can get for your V8 engine. It's been around for so long and creates such an American muscle growl at idle, and it can really scream at wide open throttle. With that said, I wouldn't call this the loudest system, I'd probably rank it at about 4 out of 5 on our loudness meter. You won't have too much drone inside the cab, if any, which is great for the guys looking to keep things mellow inside the truck in order to easily listen to music or have a conversation. You'll notice when shopping around that Flowmaster offers essentially two different versions of the American Thunder as far as construction goes. There's the stainless steel we have here and the aluminized option on the site as well. Both of them will produce essentially the same sound, the durability and longevity of them will differ as well as the price. This one is 409 stainless steel, meaning it is better suited for the wintry weather areas out there, seeing a lot of road salt, and it holds up better off-road. The aluminized option is best for truck owners looking to stay on a tighter budget, but who still want the American Thunder sound. Won't hold up as long as the 409 here, but obviously it's more affordable. This one all around will be more durable and will last you a few more years. This one's made right here in the US from a tough 3.5 inch mandrel bent 16 gauge 409 stainless steel as I just mentioned, which is known for its corrosion resistance. The muffler system is really the star since it is the 50 series HD Flowmaster muffler, which is built to be specifically for guys who do a lot more heavy duty truck things like hauling, towing, or worksite related tasks. It's got four inch internal components and a large case size and a three chamber design. They'll ultimately help with mileage, small horsepower and torque gains as well as throttle response because of the better airflow. The mufflers are also 16 gauge steel fully MIG welded for stronger finishes and the exhaust was topped off with 4 inch polished stainless steel tips that will dump behind the rear passenger side tire thanks to the single side exit design. And the tip will also have of course the Flowmaster name embedded right into the materials as you can see here. This one falls right in the middle of the pack as far as pricing for a full cat back, coming in right around the $650 mark. In my opinion, not too bad of a price tag, pretty average for a durable stainless steel. If you're looking to cut down cost a bit, maybe check out the aluminized option I mentioned earlier, or some of the more entry level MBRP options for an even better price. Flowmaster also offers the same two American Thunder systems with a split rear and split side exit design. You can even pick up the system that includes both exit styles for a bit more customization on the fly. The installation, as I mentioned earlier, might require you to cut once into the extension pipe provided in the kit, as you can see here, depending on your cab size and bed length. That's all laid out for you in the instruction manual, and some of you guys might not even have to cut anything, some of you might not have to use this at all. It's all detailed for you from Flowmaster. Aside from that, you'll want to have a cutting tool of your choice on deck, like a sawzall or something similar, ratchet and socket set will do the trick as well, and a jack and jack stands or a lift if you have access to one. Still giving this one one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter, you should be able to tackle this one in about an hour or two in the driveway or shop. You'll first need to get the truck in the air and support it on jack stands or a lift if you have access to one like I just mentioned. Remove the two bolts holding the front flange and loosen the band clamp to pull the muffler assembly back and remove it from the hanger isolator. Slide the assembly over and out of the rear axle. Next, you'll need to mount the left hanger bracket in the Flowmaster kit using the hardware provided. You'll need to, at this point, make the cut, if required, to the extension pipe provided in the kit depending on your cab size and bed length combo. Some size combos won't need to cut at all, others might not even need to use it at all. All of that is detailed in the instructions, and if you do need to cut, they'll let you know just how much. Remember to measure twice and cut once. From here you can put the inlet pipe through the OEM mid pipe and bolt the flanges down, then insert the inlet hanger into the factory isolator location. Install the muffler inlet to the back of the inlet pipe you just installed and mount the hanger. Put the clamp onto the muffler outlet and then slide the tailpipe with the exhaust tip already welded to it to the end of that muffler and tighten it down. At this point, I'd probably recommend going back throughout each of the clamps in the kit, tightening everything down, making sure it's torqued to spec, and then from there you're good to go. That just about wraps this one up, so if you're the owner of a 2011 to 2014 5 liter F-150, you might want to check out the Flowmaster American Thunder stainless steel capback single side exit exhaust, which you can find right here at americantrucks.com.